osteoporosis causes and symptoms osteoporosis develops when bone density decreases the body reabsorbs more bone tissue and produces less to replace it in people with osteoporosis the bones become porous and weaker increasing the risk of fractures especially in the hip spinal vertebra and some peripheral joints such as the wrists the international osteoporosis foundation estimate that over 44 million people in the united states currently have osteoporosis in this video we look at some causes and symptoms of osteoporosis and how a doctor diagnoses it signs and symptoms osteoporosis develops slowly and a person may not know they have it until they experience a fracture or break after a minor incident such as a fall even a cough or sneeze can cause a break in osteoporotic bones breaks will often occur in the hip wrists or the spinal vertebra for people who have osteoporosis if a break occurs in the spinal vertebra it can lead to changes in posture a stoop and curvature of the spine people might also notice a decrease in height or their clothes may not fit as well as they did previously causes and risk factors doctors have identified several risk factors for osteoporosis some are modifiable but it is not possible to avoid others the body continually absorbs old bone tissue and generates new bone to maintain bone density strength and structural integrity bone density peaks when a person is in their late 20s and it starts to weaken at around 35 years of age as a person grows older bone breaks down faster than it rebuilds osteoporosis may develop if this breakdown occurs excessively it can affect both males and females but it is most likely to occur in women after menopause because of the sudden decrease in estrogen estrogen normally protects women against osteoporosis the international osteoporosis foundation advises that once people reach 50 years of age one in 3 women and one in 5 men will experience fractures due to osteoporosis unavoidable factors according to the american college of rheumatology non modifiable risk factors include age risk increases after the mid 30s and especially after menopause reduced sex hormones lower estrogen levels appear to make it harder for bone to regenerate ethnicity white people and asian people have a higher risk than other ethnic groups height and weight being over 5 ft 7 in tall or weighing under 125 pounds increases the risk genetic factors having a close family member with a diagnosis of hip fracture or osteoporosis makes osteoporosis more likely fracture history a person over 50 years of age with previous fractures after a low level injury is more likely to receive a diagnosis of osteoporosis prevention Certain alter alterations to lifestyle can reduce the risk of osteoporosis. Calcium and vitamin D intake. Calcium is essential for bones. People should make sure they consume enough calcium daily. Adults aged 19 years and above should consume 1000 mg of calcium a day. Women who are over 51 years of age and all adults from 71 years onward should have a daily intake of 1200 mg dietary sources include dairy foods such as milk cheese and yogurt green leafy vegetables such as kale and broccoli 
fish with soft bones such as tinned salmon and tuna fortified breakfast cereals if a person's calcium intake is inadequate supplements are are an option calcium supplements are available for purchase online vitamin d also plays a key role in preventing osteoporosis as it helps the body absorb calcium dietary sources include fortified foods salt water fish and liver however most vitamin d does not come from food but from an sun exposure so doctors recommend moderate regular exposure to sunlight lifestyle factors other ways to minimize the risk are avoiding smoking as this can reduce the growth of new bone and decrease estrogen levels in women limiting alcohol intake to encourage healthy bones and prevent falls getting regular weight bearing exercise such as walking as this promotes healthy bones and strengthens their support from muscles exercises to promote flexibility and balance such as yoga which can reduce the risk of falls and fractures for people who already have osteoporosis nutrition exercise and fall prevention techniques play a key role in reducing the risk of fracture and the rate of bone loss fall prevention tips for fall prevention include remove, removing trip hazards such as throw rugs and clutter having regular vision screenings and keeping eye uh, eye oil up to date installing grab bars for example in the bathroom ensuring there is plenty of light in the home practicing exercise that helps with balance such as tai chi asking the doctor to review medications to reduce the risk of dizziness diagnosis a doctor will consider family history and any risk factors if they suspect osteoporosis they will request a bone mineral density scan or bmd bone density scanning uses a type of x-ray known as dual energy x-ray absorptiometry or dexa dexa can indicate the risk of osteoporotic fractures it can also help monitor a person's response to treatment two types of devices can carry out a dexa scan a central device this is a hospital based scan that measures hip and spine bone mineral density while the individual lies on a table a peripheral device this is a mobile machine that tests bone in the wrist heel or finger dexa test results doctors give the results of the test as a dexa t score or a z score the t score compares an individual's bone mass with the peak bone mass of a younger person minus 1.0 or above shows good bone strength from minus 1.1 to minus 2.4 suggest mild bone loss or osteopenia minus 2.5 or below indicates osteoporosis the z z score compares the bone mass with that of the other people for a similar build and age a doctor will typically repeat the test every 2 years as this allows them to compare results other test an ultrasound scan of the hill hill bone is another method that doctors use for assessing osteoporosis and they can carry carry it out in the primary care setting it is less common in common than dexa and the doctors cannot compare the measurements against dexa t scores when to see a doctor severe discomfort in any of the common locations for osteoporotic bone damage could indicate an unexpected or unidentified fracture
people should seek medical evaluation as soon as they notice this type of pain